can talk about like anarchy and arena who's usually in it usually the evps are a part of it right because they're like well, yeah we're going to do the dumb shit you know it's our company we're going to yeah. do the dumb shit uh so like you, you know calculate risk of course but but still like you know that they're they're not telling they're not making anybody do anything that they're not going to do you know whether it be an exploding super kick or chair or uh light 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 jack perry on fire um so uh, thumbtack thumbtacks yeah the thumbtack shoe. the shoes or or the rainmaker with the thumbtacks oh let's talk the about rainmaker. this yes. oh my <laughs> god this man i love one of first of all and i i can i can hear the screaming from the production truck during every one of these matches that they do for Anarchy mm-hmm. and Arena. It is a mess. There's no way to coordinate it to a certain point when they had the fighting music, which is, I, and it, 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 we were trying to remember because like, well, what happened last year? It's like, that's right. Moxley came out to a live band that mm-hmm. kept playing. And I was in the arena and I was like, oh my God, they're still going. Are they supposed to be going? And then, like, finally, didn't they, like, super kick the singer or something <laughs> eventually? And then, then we had the battling music, um, the greatest song in the world, shut that off. It tosses $120,000 every time we play it. Man, that is – that play, and that's memorable, and that's fun, and, and, and I love it. Um, And then, of course, we had Jack Perry. And again, if you're like, okay, that was a stupid thing. Jack Perry has done this before. There's video surfacing of of him doing this, and so it looks like behind the scenes, looks like some kind of video or movie they were shooting, uh, perhaps. So, so he is familiar with this trick, much like Darby is familiar with all the crazy stuff that he does, right? Um, and uh, oh, by the way, uh, when I saw the flamethrower, I loved the next day it came out. Tony Tony Khan's on a call uh, where they said, uh, "Don't you need a permit for a flamethrower?" thrower and tony says yes you do and luckily darby has one because of course he does also my favorite line going into the show was uh darby allen who got final destination a couple weeks ago uh (laughs) so uh referencing getting hit by the bus um which darby allen he'll just survive anything at this point um but if somebody like he's got how many lives i know seriously it, it just, um, it, it just, it, it, it's, it's, it, it, it was so much fun. It was crazy. It was stupid. It's the stupid in wrestling. I love to watch, to be quite honest. Um, so like that is, you know, that it hit all the points for me. Um, there's some, some, and concern. honestly, the thing I, I'm sorry, sir. The other thing I like about the anarchy in the mat in, in the arena is it didn't involve a title. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nope. So, so you, so you kept, you kept, your titles with your matches and your regular stuff yeah and your crazy stuff is your crazy stuff mm-hmm. so it didn't overlap which 